What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt and kind of, you know, talk about is it really worth all the hype that is getting right now. I know a lot of people out uh, out there on console are farming it now. Of course, I know last week when the DLC dropped on PC, people are farming it like crazy. Everyone's griping about the Shadowfin lead. It took me forever to get it. Like three days. It, it took, I, the other ones might have took me a couple hours. The Shadowfin lead took around three days to get. So it is kind of annoying to be able to get all the pieces for it. And of course, if you do not know exactly what this does, uh, of course, I need to change my max enchant to magic. I have not done that yet, but it drops with max stam. You're going to get an increased Monday stone effect by 9.1%. Uh, then, of course, you're going to get dealing direct damage grants you a stack of Hunter's Focus for a minute, up to 10 stacks. You may only gain one stack of Hunter's Focus per second. So you need to keep that in mind if you do have this. If you're really, really fast with your rotation, sometimes it may not proc those stacks because uh, you're you know you're hitting things a little too quick if that makes sense uh each stack of hunter's focus increases your critical chance by 125 and your critical damage by one percent taking direct damage removes five stacks of hunter's focus up to uh once per second removing harpooners uh waiting kilt removes all stacks of hunter's focus um now when it says direct damage you can stand sometimes in some damage like you know pink circles things like that and it's not going to remove those effects but if something's actually in your face, you know, hitting you physical direct damage, that's when you'll see these things drop off. Sometimes if, you know, a, a boss or something's using an ability or an ad, uh, maybe some of the bow. I, I noticed yesterday with some of the, um, the, the skeletons that run around shooting bows in a few dungeons that they were hitting me. I guess that was counting, of course, as direct damage. So you just have to be aware of that. Um, in my opinion, even if you can keep the stacks, just a couple of them, it, it is still worth it getting and using now is it one of the best things in the game i'm not sure if it was good as the thrash and stranglers were when they first came out before they got nerfed but you can tell a damage increase i'll kind of let you guys see how this is going to work so we'll look at my character sheet right here uh we'll look up here at uh, don't have all my you know like the pets out or anything we kind of get to see the spell damage and spell crit and then once you start hitting uh this you know target we're just going to do some light attacks on it uh, we might throw a few crystal frags on it just to get it to proc. You can kind of see right there beside my food, uh, if you look to the far left, the second one over is the kilt. So you can see it stacking right now to 8, to 9, to 10 for 59 seconds. So now if you look at my stats, you can see the spell damage and the spell crit have gone up. If I sit here a minute and let it kind of tick down, you'll see that spell damage start to drop off. Now to keep that spell damage up, of course you're going to have to keep those uh th those damage stats going the whole time you know you have to keep using or stacking those stats of course the spell crit is starting to drop now as well as you, you know or kind of as well as you can see there but this is it like i said it is a pretty decent set i think it's definitely uh worth getting is it going to be perfect for every situation i don't think it's going to be wonderful for everything if you're soloing stuff uh, and you're taking direct damage it's not going to be that great uh, of course you can run around with the pale order ring probably be a better mythic uh in four man dungeon content if you have a really good tank with you, uh, and you know they're taking most of the or the brunt of the damage from everything, I think it would be definitely worth using, and definitely in trials. If you have a good trials group, uh, you know you, everybody knows their roles, everybody's doing things correctly, and you can just sit there and do damage on a lot of the bosses. That's pretty much what it's going to be for. The ads are not going to be that big of a deal, but if you can keep this up, like I said, at least half the stacks, in my opinion, to the max amount of stacks. Uh, it's going to be very, very good. You're going to see some differences in your DPS. The one the thing about it that I really like is you can see. When it is stacked, you will know by this glowing blue kind of flame that's coming off of you. Now, of course, my character's gear is all Juliano's white, so it's not as noticeable. I did notice when I swapped to a darker kind of, uh, you know, armor or outfit, something that's like a, a dark black red, something like that. This thing almost looks like blue fire coming off of you. It's a really, really neat visual effect. Of course, you can still see it, like I said, on this character, but it's just not quite as easy to see on something that's like a darker style armor. So that is one way to know that you have the stacks going if you don't check and you don't see them down there, of course, in your, you know, in your bar here or right above your bar. But like I said, it's pretty easy to keep up. I ran uh, Runes of Mazatun yesterday with it after I got it because that was the daily random I got. And of course, the game was just trolling me, I think. But anyway, uh, the... It, it seemed like I could keep it up pretty well. I mean, we didn't have a tank. We just went in there with a DPS and then one healer. So it, it worked well. You know, I wasn't able to keep it up all the time, especially on the ad waves, because you're getting hit with a lot of different direct damage. But like I said, if you do have a tank with you, I think it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to keep these stacks up pretty well. Uh, you're going to be able to keep the stacks up uh, pretty often, uh, at least half of them. And like I said, on bosses, you can keep 10 stacks pretty easily, especially if there is a tank in the group, uh, you know, keeping a lot of that damage off of you. 
So in my opinion, it is worth getting. Is it the best Mythic ever? No, I don't think so. But I'm sure it's going to have some changes eventually. It's probably going to be for the worse. You know how everything is in this game when it comes to Mythics. It's, they seem to get nerfed after a while. But I would highly recommend going after I think all the hype around it is worth picking up. Like I said, it's not going to be a game changer where you're going to see massive DPS increases, but you are going to see DPS increases with it. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Have you got the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt yet? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.